back with a quick tutorial finally how do i make my adjustable band clearly it's time to wipe my sewing machine off back to the basics 101 okay seriously i prefer this type of band it's made to be on your hair on your head not this type a lot of people use this band so i am using this I am prone to headaches, so that's why I personally don't like it. I do have clients that love this band. I have clients that love this band. So whatever rocks your world, and we are going to work with this one since I think it's the most popular right now. Let's get to it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. About 10 inches. Now, this is my standard, and I'll show you why. Please. Feel free to figure out your standard. I cut the 10 inches. Now, I fold it in half and cut so that I have 5 inches. I've tried many different inches and this one is more universal for me. About five inches if you stretch it. So two pieces that can stretch to possibly about 19. However, when you take into consideration that it's adjustable and we put this on, you will see how it's very flexible. I use black. I'm just using this so that you can see the stitching through it. Let's get into it. First thing to do is cut the bra strap. Now you have created two pieces. This piece is designed to go here. You do want to clean this up as much as possible. Everything I do or sell or put on a wig, I like for it to be nice and neat. But You will cut it even. The next thing to do is to use your sewing machine to sew it. It's up to you if you want to use a straight stitch or a zigzag stitch. It does not matter. Flip it over so that you can see what you're doing. But first, I'll start right here. I am going to put my machine on four zigzag pattern, length at a three, width at six. Be careful. That's it. Stop. You can do this as many times as you want. It doesn't matter. Clean it up. Now I like to flip it over. And so the three sides. And I do continue to use a zigzag stitch. I'm going to line it up here so it can actually sew on the black cap. Don't worry about messing up. You can use a zigzag stitch to practice with. It's easy to come out. Cut it. Do the next side. And obviously, if this is black, it's a very clean, neat look. And I turn it this way so that it doesn't get stuck here. And 
all I'm doing is sitting it flat. That shouldn't happen. The bobbin thread is out. Now I need to fix my needle thread. This machine does self-thread itself, but it's more work than what it's worth for me. So I just cut it. And push it through. Let's get back to it. Zizak to practice, it holds well. I've done both straight stitch and zigzag. I like to zigzag here and straight stitch here. Practice with a zigzag first because it's easy to reuse if you mess up. So that's our first half of the band. Next, you want to do the same thing. Take a side of your band, and now you are going to sew this on. The other half. Just like this. Remember that, how do you plan to hook it? If it's hooked here, don't sew it backwards. Make sure you sew it this way so that when it joins, it hooks easily. I align this. I secure with the zigzag stitch. Back stitch. Now, however, I do not zigzag this. Practice with this half first if you need to. I am going to a regular straight stitch and I will sew this part to the band to secure it. Excuse my son talking in the back if you hear him. It's up to you if you want to do one side and come back. What I usually do is curve it stop. Now let's look at this. If you curve it, you need to make sure that you don't go all the way off and stop. If you want it to be nice, neat looking, you curve it this way. And if you all know me, you know I like to do tutorials and teach with errors and showing you all to help you prevent it the first time. What I do is, so straight this way and then come back down and then come around. If I do tend to go all the way around, I will not stop here. I will keep going because at the end of the day, you do want it to look nice and tidy. So, let me take this straight across. And then what I will do is I will show you how it looks. And remember, this is black. I do not use this color. I use the black one. So, all of this thread, you wouldn't even be able to see it. However, I still like the look of cleanness. stitch a little and the straight stitch I'm going to 
machine does this, just pull all the dirt out. Clean it up. Okay. So on this back part, it looks. It looks weird right now. But then again, it looks good too. The colors are. But this is how you make the adjustable strap. And what I like about it is, there's a lot of room for what your client prefers. Once you have done that, You get your frontal, and here we have a pre-cut frontal. And this is a teaching frontal, as you can see. So while I have it, always be careful how you cut if you decide to cut your frontal. Why? Because this will happen. So let's talk about placement once you have created your band. You sew it on this end. And then you sew another one on this end. Ensuring that it's out. This part is faced down and not up. Thinking about how the client would clip it on. So it'll be probably best if you Clip it on and then you know it was so here. And then if you come around here, it's going to sew here. And that's how I create my adjustable bands. If you try this, leave comments below. Let me know what you think. If you have questions, leave comments below. You can also do the same technique with Velcro. I do not prefer the Velcro because how it sticks in your hair and all that good stuff sometimes. But whatever works for you, if you decide that you want it shorter or longer, that's fine. Remember, the goal is for it to be a universal fit. Or if you have your client right there with you, you know what inches you need to cut this adjustable band at. Let me know what you think. Thank you.